All right, man. Jameson Williams has arrived on one of the biggest stages in football on Sunday Night Football versus the uh, um, Los Angeles Rams. I mean, he's the one pass catcher that showed up last night, and he showed up in a big way. And a lot of people were saying, you know, was he going to translate um, last night? You know, was the offseason, the T-shirts and short camps, OTAs, mini camps, training camp? Because we hadn't seen him in preseason wasn't going to translate into the regular season and the boy did it. And you got to say, man, dude, if he didn't really step up, um, we would be in trouble at receiver. And he really has stepped up. He stepped his game up to a, a new tremendous level. Um, uh, you know, just with the ball in his hands, you know, um, they call some plays and, you know, he got rolled up on a little bit and we all held our breath and, we hope that Puka Nakua, Puka Nakua makes a full and speedy recovery um, as well. So, you know, yesterday he had five catches, you know what I'm saying, 121 yards, one TD, and I think he had an end around for what, about 12 yards that he got injured on. Um, let's see. Let's see if we use it for how much long was that rush. So he was for 13 yards. So, I mean, he had a hell of a game. He's the one guy that showed up. And, you know, that's what that's what defenses is going to do to the Detroit Lions. They're going to tell the Detroit Lions that you're going to have to beat us. You know, uh, well, Jamison Williams is going to have to beat us. We know the run game is going to be tight. But outside of the run game being super duper tight, Jamison Williams and outside of J-Mo, y'all going to have to beat us. Y'all going to have to beat Y'all going to have to beat us, bro. Y'all, I mean, y'all other guys going to have to beat us. We're not going to let St. Brown and LaPorta beat us across the middle of this season. So what you going to have on the, on the outside? What y'all going to do on the outside? So, you know, that's the main, that's the main dollar question, to be honest. And um, to keep it honest, man, I think that, uh, you know, his maturation, they banked on it in the work. Now they banked on also uh, the maturation of uh, – in the offense in Donovan Peoples Jones and that didn't work and Antoine Green and that didn't work. So those not actually working out for them, you know, to the point it's like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of it was kind of heartbreaking. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, JMO did his thing, burnt Tredavious White, um, uh, caught the what the over the uh that little post route or whatever it was, the over route he caught across the middle. And they probably going to look for him a lot more because all the attention is going to be sunk sunk into the box and sunk into LaPorta and sunk into Amar Ross St. Brown. He had a great game plan to start, stop St. Brown. So now, you know, do you say, well, let's see what we can do on outside the hashes and what we can create with him outside the hashes. Do we see what we can do with, you know, you know, Laporta outside or Laporta lining up in the backfield and see if we get some matchups of him in the backfield as the up back. But J-Mo 100% delivered. You know, he got the NBC Sunday night football ball, game ball. So... That was nice to see. He said he had never received a game ball, you know what I'm saying, in, in his career. You know, high school, he never got a game ball. So I know the Lions game balls went to David Montgomery and uh, Alex Anazoni, but I think we all felt like the true um, the true guy that probably deserved a game ball was uh, the guy that actually deserved a game ball probably was uh, – it was Jake Mo, but Dave Montgomery finished that game off strong, so I, I don't really have an issue with it. You know, I think Jake Mo rather had that Sunday night NBC football anyway. Um, but yeah, his explosiveness, and they got to find a way to get the ball to him. And then what's going to happen is, you know, do people start rolling coverage to him? And then does that free up St. Brown? Does that free up, uh, you know, Sam Laporta? So, you know, but I found it, uh, I said, I think, I, f- I forgot who said it. But uh, somebody said it. Somebody said it after the game, and they said that Ben Johnson said this is probably not going to be our prettiest game. It was going to be ugly, and I was wondering like why would he say that? And I figured maybe because you know it's the first game and they didn't have much live action in preseason. And those seven on sevens or eleven on elevens they had with the Giants. I mean, come on, it's no pass rush. So they came out lethargic, and even versus the Kansas City Chiefs last last year, they came out lethargic. So. You wonder why teams like Kansas City and you wonder why teams like that play their guys in preseason. And you see a lot of the teams that didn't play their guys in preseason. Carolina didn't play Bryce Young. Detroit didn't play theirs. You know, even, you know, the Rams came out a little, you know, uh, has, you know, a little rusty. 
that, you know, probably you should probably get some preseason work. But then again, you're not trying to risk any unnecessary, uh, any unnecessary injury. So I definitely understand it from, from that standpoint of view and from that point of view. So, um, you know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely understand that. So, um, but, uh, You know, but you know, nonetheless, uh, you know, JMO, you know, he showed up, showed out, had a great game, and you know, his personality is, is infectious. You know, we seen, you know, in the post game press conference. I mean, he was just, he was just so happy in that post game press conference. Um, you know, to, you know, just be here, and then when somebody uh take away the game of football from you. Uh, you know, with the injury and all of that, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's tough. It's tough. It's real tough. So, um, it's real tough. So, you know, but, uh, let's, let's take a look at this. Oh, my bad y'all. Wow. I ain't never did this before. <laughs> I never got a game ball, not at Bama, not at nowhere. I ain't even gonna lie. This right here, it's, it might not leave my hands. I might sleep like this. <laughs> so, you know, you got some people who just got in, a great and infectious personalities and just can light up a room. And you see why, you can see why they drafted the guy. You can see why they took a chance on him. And, you know, even though they said there were some, um, there were some, uh, immaturity issues and you know at the end of the day and we all ain't fully mature at 20 years old 21 23 you got a bunch of immature uh 40 and 50 year olds walking around so yeah but um but yeah you can see why they love the god man and why they drafted him and you know you need those vibrant guys and those guys with a lot of personality you need those in the locker room so you know he arrives um you know, right on time and when they exactly needed him. And, you know, hopefully he can stay healthy and, uh, um, you know, in the whole thing. Whole thing. You know, but hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, You know, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist for more videos. Uh, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, Kick, Twitch. Check out the, uh, well, I ain't on all that, but my other channel, I'm on all that. Check out my other channel, I'm Goodfella TV. Hit the link tree over there. Peace.